The NASA Electric Aircraft Testbed NEAT, is a NASA reconfigurable testbed in Plum Brook Station, Ohio, used to design, develop, assemble and test electric aircraft power systems, from a small, one- or two-person aircraft up to 20 megawatts 27,000 horsepower airliners. NASA Research Agreements NRA, are granted to develop electric propulsion components. They will be completed in 2019 and the internal NASA work by 2020, then they will be assembled in a megawatt-scale drive system to be tested in the narrow-body-sized NEAT. Topic. Machines The University of Illinois is developing a 1 MW permanent magnet synchronous motor spinning at 18,000 revolutions per minute to drive a Rolls-Royce Liberty Works electrically variable engine turbofan from a battery for taxiing, takeoff and idle descent in a parallel hybrid. Ohio State University is building 300 kW and 1 MW prototype motors, a 2,700 revolutions per minute, 1 m, 3.3 feet, diameter, 2.7 MW liquid-cooled ring induction motor and designed a 5,000 revolutions per minute, 10 MW turbofan integrated ring motor. These electric machines target 13 kW per kilogram and over 93% efficiency, while NASA Glenn Research Center is developing a superconducting electric machine with a 16 kW per kilogram goal and above 98% efficiency, a 0.4 MDA, 6,800 revolutions per minute, 1.4 MW wound field synchronous motor using a self-cooled, high-temperature superconducting rotor winding. Topic. Voltage The highest voltage used now is 540 plus or minus 270 volts, but distributing megawatt scale power will require higher voltage to reduce current for smaller, lighter electric cables. 1 megawatt over 150 feet, 46 meters, need 900 kilograms at 540 volts, but would be reduced to 200 kilograms at 2000 volts DC. A near-term hybrid would need 1000 to 3000 volt and a fully turboelectric large aircraft 5000 to 10000 volt, like ship power systems, but arcing occurs at much lower voltages at low pressures than at sea level. Topic: Inverters. While a battery power source would use a direct current distribution, a gas turbine power source would also allow alternating current which would need power converters, mainly inverters to convert DC to controlled, variable frequency AC to regulate a motor speed and torque. Silicon carbide and gallium nitride switches can operate at higher frequencies with lower losses, increasing efficiency. GE is building a 2,400 volt DC, 1 MW inverter with 6 switches and its 1.7 kW MOSFETs power modules. The University of Illinois is building a 1,000 volts DC, 200 kW, flying capacitor, scalable to a 1 MW with GAN-based field effect transistor switches. 
Both are liquid cooled and target 19 kW per kilogram at 99% efficiency but Boeing is developing a cryogenically cooled 1 MW inverter for 26 kW per kilogram and 99. 3% efficiency with off-the-shelf silicon semiconductors, and is currently fabricating a liquid nitrogen-cooled 200 kW inverter before a 1 MW one. <laughs> 